All right, well, hello there, ferrets, ferrets, and other sexy people. I'm your host, Purple Fair Gaming. Welcome to another video. Today is our video of Wednesday, uh, our one of two videos on Wednesday, our tutorial, and uh, later out will be Volt. But anyway, in this Minecraft tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, change the hearts in a resource pack. So you could change the color, make it a gradient, whatever you want. So uh, before we get started, I want you to excuse my desktop. Um, it's very messy on Sundays because uh, that's when I pre-record everything since I am still grounded. So uh, what you're gonna wanna do to get off, um, I'm assuming you're not a noob, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it anyway. Uh, this is on Windows 7, you go to start. Locate your Minecraft uh, folder by going to start and typing in percent app data percent. Press enter. And now your Minecraft should be at the top, but mine's at the bottom for some reason. I don't know. Um, but if we go down, uh, just look at my mouse. Look at that. Look at that. It should make a circle. There we go. My mouse is over here. Um, click on resource packs and... Um, if you guys have a resource pack downloaded that you want to edit, you can go ahead and edit that one. Uh, but I have the 1.8 default texture pack right here. Um, and it'll be available for download for you guys in the description below. Just so you guys can start by scratch, do whatever you want. So, um, go there, go to assets, Minecraft, um, textures, then go to GUI. And I believe it is under icons yes it is so uh locate your icons folder um this is where everything is as you see here are all the icons and you can change the xp bar you can change all of this stuff that you see here uh as long as it stays in the correct dimensions so um what you're gonna want to do is download paint.net which is a free photo editing program i'll leave a link to it in the description below so go to open with and then go to paint.net Alright, so once you're in here, you're going to want to go to your zoom tool or just press Z on your keyboard. Uh, where's the zoom tool? Right there. Uh, zoom right in on those hearts by clicking. And uh, there we go. Come on. Zoom in. No, we can't zoom in. Oh, Jesus. Zoom in a little more. Alright, there we go. Um, what you can do is uh, grab your pencil, your pencil tool or your... Um, paint bucket tool or your paintbrush tool. I prefer the pencil because it fills it much nicer. On um, the color palette, press more so you have more of a variety of what to choose from. So uh, I'm gonna make my hearts a nice uh, shade of um, blue. Let's make them nice, very colorful blue. So uh, what you're gonna wanna do, choose the color using this color wheel and then uh, get out your pencil tool and then start clicking and you can choose multiple colors down here so as our secondary color we might want to choose a uh, a darker blue so let's go ahead and do that um we can go like oh blue where's the blue uh want to go to the blue and around there maybe darken it a little bit all right there we go uh so fill the top part in with um a lighter color or really do whatever you want just take some experimenting you can also change the shape of the hearts if you want and um to use your secondary color you right click on the mouse and there you go that's kind of the shadow i don't really like that color so we're gonna make it a little more like uh like that and then like that and there we go uh th yeah that should look a uh, little darker yeah, there we go. That looks way better. It's a little shadow, and then want to make the little thing right there. Make it pearly white. Looks very nice. Um, so like so, let's just do it right there. And uh, this is what it will look like when there is half a heart. So um, what you're gonna want to do to get the same color that you did before? Go to Tools, Color Picker, and then click on that color. It'll pick it for you. And then can I? Yeah. And then right click on that color, and it'll also pick it for you as your secondary. Go back to your pencil tool and uh, fill it in, or you can make it have you can have it a different color, but I think it looks best like this. And then again, right click to get the different color. So uh, there we go. That's how you edit the hearts. You can also edit all of this stuff, um, but uh, you can figure out how to do that yourself. Anyway, very easy, very simple. I'm Purple Fair Gaming. If you if you this tutorial helped you, make sure to smack that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Purple Fair Gaming, and I approve this message.